In this video, we're going to look at uh, the derivative of uh, logarithmic functions. In particular, we're going to look at the natural log. So we have uh, this rule that the derivative of lin u of x is 1 over u of x times du dx. Um, of course, uh, this is uh, based on the chain rule which says uh, that uh, the derivative of f of u of x is equal to df du times du dx. Uh, and uh, so here the um, link between f and x is u. So that's why we need this term so that we can find the derivative of f with respect to x and uh, this is the linkage so that is why this thing is called the chain rule so this is basically saying you differentiate the outer function first uh, which we do here then you multiply that by the derivative of the inner function in this case the outer function is lean so this is saying the derivative of lean is 1 over whatever the argument of lean is. So we just reciprocate this. And then, of course, after that, we multiply by the derivative of the inner function. All right, so uh, using this rule, uh, let's see how to apply it in examples. Okay, so let's look at uh, these examples here. Uh, so starting with uh, A, uh, in A we have got uh, y equal lin x. Um, so uh, using that rule, uh, so when I differentiate lin, we're going to get 1 over x. Then we multiply it by the derivative of this. Derivative of x is 1. So that is going to be 1 over x. Then in b, um, we have got lean of 7x. So lean of 7x. So again, derivative of lean just uh, the reciprocal of whatever we have got here then now derivative of this is a uh, 7 so simplifying this the 7 cancels out we still have 1 over x so that is a bit uh, bewildering because uh, the answer for lean x is 1 over 7 this is showing that the derivative for lin 7x is 1 over x as well. So we are, um, you're probably wondering how this can be. Well, in fact, this can be resolved by using properties of logs. So remember that lin 7x we can write as lin 7 plus lean x so the connection between lean x and uh, lean 7x is just that the second one is this one plus a constant because this is a constant okay and uh, so the derivative of a constant you'll remember is equal to zero uh, in terms of the graphical set up uh, if uh, this is a uh, lean x then lean 7x uh, is just going to be uh, if you take the this graph and you translate it upwards and uh, this distance is going to be lean 7 so you can see that um, this is the reason why the derivative is going to be the same because if you choose any one point uh, value of x the gradient here and the gradient there must still be 
exactly the same. All right, so going to C, in C we have got lean of um, x to the power negative two thirds. We are going to do this using two methods. In the first method, we're just going to differentiate it as it is and use the chain rule. Um, so chain rule. So the derivative of this is going to be 1 over x to the power negative 2 thirds. And then we're going to multiply now by the derivative of that. Derivative of that is negative 2 thirds x to the power negative 2 thirds minus 1 is minus 5 thirds. Okay. Um, and then we're going to simplify this. It's going to be a bit involving, but uh, we have to work it out. So um, this term goes in the numerator as 2 thirds uh, x to the power 2 thirds. This term goes in the denominator as x to the power 5 thirds. And then when we do the subtraction, um, 2 thirds minus 5 thirds is going to be minus 1. So this is going to be minus 2 thirds. x to the power 1, which is the same as minus 2 over 3x. So that is going to be our answer. Then in method 2, we are going to simplify using properties of logs first before we differentiate. Okay, so simplify first. So um, now using properties of uh, logs, this can be written as minus two thirds lin x. And then now we can differentiate. Uh, lin x we've already differentiated and we've seen that its derivative is 1 over x. Uh, so 1 over x, which uh, is exactly the same as what we've got there. So this shows us that if we use the properties of logs to simplify first, then our differentiation becomes pretty simple. Um, okay, so that is going to be encouraged. So if you haven't, uh, please go and uh, revise uh, your properties of uh, logarithms uh, as you continue uh, with uh, this topic. 40, lead of 40 minus 1. Okay, this one. There is no way we can simplify this using properties of logs. So we simply do reciprocal of the argument times derivative of the argument. So it's going to be 4 over 40 minus 1. That is going to be our derivative. Going on to E, we have got G of U, uh, which is equal to lean of 3U squared plus 7. Again, there's no way of uh, simplifying this one. So we just differentiate it as it is. So first we take the reciprocal of the argument of the log. Um, then we multiply by the derivative of the argument. In this case, that's going to be 6u. So that's going to be 6u over 3u squared plus 7. Um, F, we have got uh, p of t equal to the square root of t, uh, no, it's equal to the natural log of the square root of t to the power 4 plus 3. Okay, um, so this one again, we're going to do it using two methods. And the first method, we're not going to use um, uh, properties of logs. We're just going to differentiate this thing as it is. 
using the chain rule which uh, as we've mentioned before we don't advise this we advise we simplify whenever we can so let's have a go so that's just the derivative of lean then now to differentiate this we're going to write it uh, like this so we multiply by a one half we subtract one from one half then we multiply by the derivative of this which is 3t cubed and then uh, we rearrange this this goes in the denominator so in the numerator we're going to have 3 halves t cubed in the denominator we're going to have t to the power 4 plus 3 because we've got a square root times another square root so that is going to be the final answer method 2 we're going to simplify first we strongly recommend that you get yourself used to this approach so p of t can be written as so remember p of t is this um, so using properties of logs this can be written as one half lean t to the power 4 plus 3 then if we differentiate now so the one half just uh, uh, is going to um, factor through the differentiation then 1 over t to the power 4 plus 3 then derivative of this is 4 t to the power 3 uh, I think uh, there was an error here this should have been 4 um, so 4 here so there's going to be 2 there so uh, and then of course this simplifies to 2t cubed all over t to the power 4 plus 3 in g we have got uh, uh, let's see what we've got in g y equal to um, so in g we've got y equal to lean of t over 1 minus 2t okay um, again in the first approach we're just going to use the chain rule without simplifying first so in this case derivative of this is the reciprocal of the whole argument so we've got 1 minus 2t in the numerator and t in the denominator then after that uh, in order for us to differentiate this we need to use the quotient rule so using the quotient rule uh, if this is u, u prime is going to be 1, this is v, uh, then v prime is going to be negative 2. So u prime v minus u v prime all over v squared is now going to give us 1 minus 2t all over t u prime is 1 v is 1 minus 2 t minus u is t v prime is negative 2 got 1 minus 2 t all squared here um so uh what we can do at this point is uh, we can cancel out uh, this term with one of those and then simplifying this um, so we are now going to have 1 over t and then 1 minus 2t here this term becomes plus 2t okay 1 minus 2t so uh, these two cancel out so that means our final answer now 
going to be 1 over t into 1 minus 2t. So that's going to be our derivative. Now I can see this is a bit involving. Um, in method 2, we are going to simplify using properties of logs. So simplify first. So if we do that, lean of t over 1 minus 2t is the same as lean t minus lean 1 minus 2t. Then differentiating this, derivative of lean t is 1 over t. Derivative of this, we're going to first reciprocate and multiply by the derivative of this, derivative of this is negative 2 so this is 1 over t plus 2 over 1 minus 2t then we're going to write this as one fraction so t into 1 minus 2t so that means this goes 1 minus 2t times here and uh, this goes t times so it's going to be 2t there and then again we have the same answer all right okay so at this point uh, we're going to give you a few to try um, all right so here you go um, if you'd like to have a go with these ones in um, h we've got lean of 5x to the power of 4 thirds in i got lean of 2 minus 5t j we've got lean of 5u to the power of 4 plus 1 in k got lean of 3 minus 4x squared all to the power minus 3 halves and uh, in l we got lean of 2t minus 1 over 2t plus 1 just have a go with these uh just uh, press the press the pause button and uh, then uh, when you're done you can continue the video to cross check with our answers all right, um, we're now going to scroll down to our answers. So for y, sorry, for h, uh, we're going to first use our properties of logs. We write this thing as uh, lin 5 plus lin 4 x to the power of 4 thirds. Then we can bring this down. And so we've got lin 5 plus 4 thirds lin x. Then derivative of lin 5 is 0 because there's a constant. Derivative of lin x is 1 over x, so that's going to be 4 over 3x here. This one we just uh, differentiate using the chain rule because there's no um, um, property of uh, simplifying this one. Um, so derivative of uh, lin is going to be 1 over 2 minus 5x. Derivative of this is negative 5, so we can write it like that. Similarly here, derivative of lean is just 1 over this. Then derivative of 5u to the power of 4 plus 1 is 20u cubed. And then we can write it like that here. Uh, in k, if we start by using properties of logs, we can bring down this power, this side. Then now we can differentiate. So we're going to have 1 over 3 minus 4x squared. Then derivative of 3 minus 4x squared is minus 8x. And this thing simplifies to uh, 12x over 3 minus 4x squared. Here, if we use the properties of logs, it's going to be log of the numerator minus log of the denominator. Then derivative of this is 2 over 2t minus 1. Derivative of this is 2 over 2t two plus 1. Then we write this as one fraction. The final answer is 4 over 4t squared minus 1. All right. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this has been useful. Please do subscribe uh, and uh, like our video. Um, and uh, please do share your comments at the bottom. Um, thank you very much.